So I want to transition and I want to talk about how we all met each other. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to remember. So I don't know. I'll go first, I guess. Since Let me go first. Since my mind me. is so in depth. So I met <laughs> Tommy. Know? I've seen Tommy three times in my life. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Once we played. Well, but I, more on the court. You've seen him. Yeah. No, I've seen him two times in a match. And then one time at practice. Yeah, I remember meeting you at um, Tidewater. Tidewater, yeah. yeah Tidewater. So that was like a, a month before you left. Yeah, yeah. So before that, I was I was always watching you. <laughs> this guy. You guys never spoke. Maybe no, just maybe a like here. friendly hello. Oh, because you're on yeah. the enemy yeah, team. Like, don't kick his ass too hard over there, buddy. No, 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 no. Yeah, I was no. always like I, I always respect anyone that's an athlete, so I, I would never have any kind of ill. I was rude. <laughs> no, no, that's, just, that's not true at all. No, I was just a grinder that like no one has any kind of ill, 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 like. I hope not. I, I really hope I haven't like no, left dude. a bad impression in no, Tennessee. No, no. I've always no, I've just, only no. started a few rumors. <laughs> You're always a feared opponent where you'd grind people down on the court, and it's like you'd be always out there just wearing people down. So it was those two, and then at practice one time yeah. on our preseason before the last four o season before you left to go to Italy, and uh, I made sure I asked James or something, maybe Sean, maybe both of you guys, like let's get one guy on yeah. the team come to our practice because I, I got I, I have one guy I want to try, try to join the team. And uh, whoever hears this from the other teams, I'm sorry, but I know a good guy when I see him, right? And uh, we had him play with us, and uh, made sure he played on the first court with me against my partner. I think it was you two played, right? It was you two? Yeah, it was you two. I don't remember anything. So. It was the two white guys versus two Asian guys, <laughs> <laughs> and we played. And then the last thing I asked him, I was like, "All right, dude, you have some fun, man." He's like, "Yeah, I loved it, man." I was like, "So when are you gonna join?" He was like. No, I got my, my my blood on the contract, so I'm staying on, on the other side. So I was like, <laughs> "All right, dude." But I respected that from from there on, man. So, but it, it was it was tough though because like I love that aspect. I love that you yeah. guys like held sanctioned practices. Yeah, like, that's appealing to me. Yeah, you know, like I I want to practice. I yeah. want to you know. We like, still, I mean, we yeah. periodically still practice. So. That's, yeah, that's kind of why we started the podcast because like we want to go beyond what we do on the tennis court, right? Everyone can see us and hate us or love us, whatever. But yeah. We're more than that. Like our teams, our friends, we're all like so close. Like now that we're on the podcast, I'm like, dude, this is my this is my boy now, right? So <laughs> that connection you make from off the yeah. court, it's kind of like what we uh we want to show people that come out to our practices. Like we're we're a cool cool group, right? No, it's great camaraderie. Yeah, I love yeah. It. So that was my memory of him. And unfortunately, he didn't join the team. But uh, the first person that's a guest on our podcast <laughs> is <laughs> on the team now. <laughs> Cheers to that. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Again, now how we met is different because it was many. Several years ago. Well, that... yeah. So I, I was getting back into playing tennis. I had yeah. injured my knee. I had, I tore my ACL. So I had surgery. ACL? Really? Yeah. Blew out my knee. I fractured my kneecap. Tore my meniscus. What the hell? On this one? This one right here. Yeah. Oh my god. So I decided. Apart. Yeah. Doing so I decided playing, playing baseball. Oh, uh, flag football. Believe it or not. <laughs> flag football. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah. Terrible. So wow. stupid. Dude. So I decided to just give up all the other sports and just go all in on tennis. And I, I you know, I. Try to get back into the tennis scene, but it's very tough out here because if you don't know somebody, yeah. Yeah. you kind of have to beg and like you know you get passed from this person to that person to this person, and yeah. you're like, can I just play? Like, where do I sign up just to play? And yeah. they're like, oh, you can't do that. You have to have a captain. Yeah. Like, how do I find a captain? Yeah. yeah. You don't know a captain? It's like, no, I don't know anybody. Really it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> so it was very tough, and but I do remember um, what ended up happening was I had to captain. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, the like, the lead oh, director, yeah. um, she said, hey, you know, if you captain a team and get some people together. So, uh, I had to ask around, and I put together a team, and we were terrible, and we had to face his team every week. And so, did you ask these guys to join your team? Or no, were, no, already, no. But, but, I, but I think, you know, and luckily, I think over the course of that season, uh, James, Brian, Sean, and some of the other guys, I think they mm. saw something in me that maybe yeah. they liked, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they thought I was a good guy and that maybe I could contribute to their team. So We took a risk. Yeah, they took a risk and they reached out and said, hey, would you like to you know, join, yeah. join our it team? It didn't pay off. No, no. <laughs> Kate got so many. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, and I always, you know, obviously, just like you were saying a minute ago, watching, you know, as a captain, you have to, you know, watch you at the courts yeah, and check out your competition. Right. Yeah. It, there's... There's no hiding from this guy. You, talent, yeah. his talent is so prevalent that you know you. It's hard to ignore it. Yeah. So I used to see him hitting. And I was like, damn, this dude is solid, man. This guy yeah. is really good. I'd, I'd love to be on that team. Yeah. So I, I don't want to play him. Yeah. <laughs> I want to play with him. Mm. So um, yeah, and then around that time when I joined your all's team, then I started like hanging out with you guys. Yeah. And, and that just kind of became a budding friendship. Uh, I'm really trying to think like, and even now, like 
what was the distinct moment that we met, but I, I, I couldn't tell you. I need to like ask Brian because I feel, or either Brian or Shun. Yeah. Because did you know, you knew Brian before me, I would think. Right? Not really. It, the, it was the combo league. It, remember, I, I really? was the captain of a combo oh, league. Uh, I definitely don't remember. So yeah, and, I, and, I knew, and I knew Sean. That was about the only person I really knew. Um, so how did you meet him? Through I've him? known Sean for years just through my brother. He was friends really? with my younger brother, uh, Jeffrey. They okay. played together in high school. Really? So I remember Sean when he was a, you know, just a young buck. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah interesting. Yeah. Okay. You know, Jeff is the one I go visit, him and his, and, and she, the one I visit in, in Ohio. Well, that's your brother? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. He's super chill. He's super chill. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now I see. Okay, got you. But no, I, mean, I don't remember, like... I can't exactly. think of, like, the distinct moment that we were like, are we friends? You know yeah. what I mean? It just kind of, it just happened over sure involved. time. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Some, some so this is like during league play or like out at the at the courts, not like yeah. at some like country club. Yeah, yeah. Smoothing with all the no, we're not we're not members of the club. Right, so. Around yeah. the BB streets. Thinking about it now, I, I, you know, back I'm in so those days, minded. there weren't that many teams, so we played against each other. Whether just me and you played against each other, or our teams played against yeah. each other, so we were always seeing each other a lot at the courts. And then I think over time we just you know it started with like hey what's up and it turned it more into like you know we're exchanging lineups yeah. and then, you know we're hitting balls together and just like kind of a gradual friendship emerge. And you you don't know this yet because you're a generation younger than us, but as you get older, <laughs> uh, the first thing to go is the brand. Like, exactly, I, yeah. My memory is yeah. just terrible nowadays. Yeah. This so. is actually good for me because I'm like, Going through like my years and <laughs> yeah. years of tennis, at least I can remember that stuff. Yeah. But I can remember like the dumbest things from like yeah. thirty years ago. Yeah, dude. But but like, how did like I meet one of my best friends? Like, yeah, I don't actually yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we've had some good times over the years. You know, like you know, on and off the tennis courts. Yeah. Uh, so that's why we're at the podcast. Yes, yes, yes. Recollecting <laughs> the good times. <laughs>